Hello Healthinistas and welcome to my channel 50 something. This channel is for the overall well-being of people 50 and older. But don't worry, if you're in your teens, 20s, 30s and 40s, you can still apply a lot of the content. If this is your first time here, go ahead and check out the playlist on my life as a kidney donor. And also the playlist on Mom and Tiff, which is more of um, funny stories with my daughter. So. You also want to subscribe because you don't want to miss when I upload. In today's video, I want to touch on the subject of sports that you no longer can do after donating your kidney. There's so many things that we're excited about right after we start feeling good we want to exercise again which is great we want to do so many things and there are a lot of things that we can do also make sure you check out the my video on medications that you can no longer have and i give you the examples i list the examples that were given to me the exact list that was given to me from the nova transplant center now so most of the things that you're asked to avoid are contact sports. They no longer want you to do contact sports because you put your one remaining kidney in jeopardy. So what are we talking about? If you go to the National Kidney Foundation site, you will be able to get an idea of what some of those things are. And some of those sports are wrestling, football, soccer, um, skydiving. Now skydiving, it's, I asked why skydiving? The answer that I got from my kidney coordinator was that they're afraid that if you have a hard landing and land on that side of the, your body where you have the remaining kidney, you might end up bruising or damaging that kidney. And so that's why. But if you're still insistent on doing these things, then make sure you're very padded in the area that has the remaining kidney. So if we can't stop you from doing these contact sports, then by all means, make sure you're totally padded when you do these sports. But you're free to do so much. Recently, I um, saw a, a post by a fellow kidney donor who just climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. And that was awesome. Also, if you want to be part of a support group, there is a great Facebook support group just for kidney donors. It is the Living Kidney Donor Support Group on Facebook and is a private group, so you have to request to join. So, enjoy your sports. Be cautious because you want that kidney to be here until you're old and gray and you want to be able to live your life to the fullest. So make sure you do that. And like I always say, doing something is better than nothing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. See you in the next video.